then stop playing as well as you were. How, how frustrating is that for you to kind of like see it's it? It's frustrating, but you know, listen, um, when you decide to be a coach, it's not going to be roses every day. And so we clearly have the right formula as far as how we're playing, and then we keep losing it, you know. Uh, but again, I just thought we lost our pace. You know, I called one time out, you know, in the middle of the third and said, guys, we're not going to dribble the game out. All right, we're going to have to keep playing because they're not going away. Um, and, you know, they didn't go away. So give them credit. Like, they made every shot. They made all the right plays. We missed some shots. But I didn't like our shots. I didn't think in the first half we touched the paint and then the ball came out and we got shots. In the second half, we held the ball and, and we put no pressure on the defense. Next question from Tomer, go ahead. Hey, Doc, obviously uh, you've been around the league in a, a while, but, you know, stats have sort of evolved, you know, throughout your coaching tenure. I'm curious, how much stock do, or do, do you pay attention to lineup data in terms of, you know, who, who's better with who on the team? We do it all. You know, I got 1,000 coaches. Uh, we have five analytical guys. I don't think there's anything we don't see. Okay. <laughs> Uh, next question, go ahead, uh, Dylan. Doc, when, when you talk about just kind of not being able to sustain that throughout the whole game, is that a lack of concentration? Is that a lack of killer instinct? I have no idea. Uh, honestly, uh, it will take me again watching the game again. Um, I, I caught it early, though, even before we lost the lead. Uh, I turned to Ty Lewis and said, we've lost our pace. We're walking the ball up the floor. Uh, we were getting stops at the beginning of the second quarter, a third quarter, and we just we lost our pace. And that's just not us. It, we can't play the way we tried to play. Uh, go ahead, Andrew. Uh, two uh, two uh, lineup questions. You know, you went with Jermichael as the first big off the bench in the first, and he gave you great minutes. What did you think of his performance? And then also, why why'd you want to go with Reggie, who hadn't played in two games late in that fourth? Uh, because sometimes we're down and you just try to go with someone. One thing Reggie has done, he has shown the ability to make shots. Um, you know, he struggles in other areas, but he does uh, have that ability. And at the time when you put Reggie in, we needed someone to make a shot uh, because we wasn't doing that. So that's why uh, I love what Jamaica, I think, you know, like it's a great example. Jamaica, you look at his plus minus a minus 10, right? Jamaica played better than that. He was terrific tonight overall for us. So, um, he was just out on the floor with a unit that lost the league. And so his plus minus doesn't look right. That's why you got to be so careful with just reading the plus minus. Doc, last question is coming from uh, Gary Washburn. What, you on vacation now? Waiting for the next game? You have a veteran team. How do you handle them before this game seven? And do you, given all the injuries and guys coming out, do you have, you know, how this team and the attitude obviously you've got to be surprised by the yeah style. yeah I am um, but I, you know honestly Gary this team is not this is I don't know how many playoff games but that's all we've played you know this is not a team a veteran team as far as where they're from but they're not a veteran team together you know so um, you know we got to, thank God it's an afternoon game you know we got the rest of the day uh, got time to prepare tomorrow and get ready for the next game Thank you, Doc. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.